institutional investors are just getting crushed. Uh, Melvin Capital, a very well-known hedge fund, managing pension fund money, your pension funds, got destroyed, a $3.5 billion loss, I think it is. They had to come to the rescue. Uh, I think Ken Griffith and the uh, and, uh, Citadel Capital had to come and bail them out. But you're seeing the, I guess, a Reddit subgroup, subchat room, has led a populist revolt on Wall Street to jump into these stocks, uh, stocks that they liked, started driving them up against the shorts. Short covering exploded these stocks. Remember, shorts is when you're betting that the companies will fail and the stock will go down. Going long is the opposite. You've had a lot of short covering, and this is getting to be a massive story. i got to tell you, the, the, from the White House, they're saying they're monitoring it. There's reports out today. They may suspend the trading. This is how much they like the little investor. As soon as you start making some money, oh, it's speculation. It's speculation. Like these guys have been running a casino. Note to self, did you see the 2008 crash, right? You see the bubble has been created. The bubble is not created because of the Reddit chat room. One, the, the, bubbles, the bubble is created because of all these hedge funds. One thing I want to explain to everybody is that when you have a short, when you have a long position, right, you buy a stock, you're, you're, you invest in a stock, you know that the lowest it could go is zero, right? Yes. That's, that's the most amount of money. So that's the amount of money you could lose. But when you have a short position because Infinity. you have to return the stock eventually, you've yeah. got to cover, that means there is – infinite potential upside risk. <laughs> downside risk. Well, downside. But well, uh, Okay, let's bring in Boris Epstein. People infinite. know Boris is one of the pro okay. presidents. Lori, he's actually a Wall Street guy. Boris, you've been around the street a long time. Tell us what's going on and why is the institutions of Wall Street, particularly CNBC, is losing it. The anchors there don't know how. Andrew Roar Sorkin, our good buddy Joe on, uh, on, uh, on the morning show. You've had all the anchors through the day. They're in meltdown because you kind of have the unwashed masses are now loose in the in the you, talk, you think they consider the uh, the if, if here in D.C. Nancy Pelosi thinks the Capitol is sacred ground they think the floor of the New York Stock Exchange is really sacred ground they don't want the unwashed masses there yeah, of course Occupy never figured this out yeah I, this is one the, the the chat room at Reddit figured out what Occupy Wall Street don't sit on the grates go into the trading room uh, Boris what's happening. Well, here's what's happening, it's very, and it's very interesting. So as you were just talking about, right, what, what going long on a stock means you believe in a particular stock, and you buy it, and you think that the fundamentals are good, or you think it's going to do well, or there's something uh, that, that's going to go right in the future. If you're shorting a stock, that means you're betting on the company uh, to go down and not do well. So GameStop's a good example. GameStop is a, you know, pretty well, at this point, old-school American company. Uh, and uh, there were there were hedge funds that were coming in and shorting it, betting for it to go down. And you've had some people seemingly with a uh, with a but but but, but hang on for a second. Hold, hold, on, say, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hang on, hang on. This this is a this is a brick and mortar uh, game retail shop that's fallen on right. tough times, even even before. The CCP virus, even before the Corona it's 19 kind of like virus. blockbuster for video games. It's kind of blockbuster right. for video games. This company, I've been, exactly. I've been in the entertainment business, this company stumbled around for years. What happened is that some some gamers or some guys in Reddit liked the stock, liked the story. They, they did some quick and dirty analysis, said hey, it's trading at a fraction of its book value, although book value is very ephemeral. Not many guys trade on book value. They started buying the stock. The stock started going up. That's when the shorts really got involved. And here's what happened. The gamers, here's man. what happened. Gamers the little guys up. continued to pile into this. They said it's the difference between fighting one Mike Tyson and a thousand well, little mini Mike Tyson. game. They, yes. they, they understand game. They understand game theory. They look at these things as opponents. They understand how to game a system. That's how Boy, you win video games. are supposed to know that, too. Right. Right? And so, so when you pick a fight with the guys who yeah. literally sit around playing games all day, what are they going to do? Boris, hedge funds well, are short and take short positions. Go ahead. Yep. Let's not bear. Let's not bury the lead either. Let's. And I'm in New York City right now. Actually, I'm in the heart of it all. Let's not bury the lead. Elon Musk came in, and and you know, pretty apparently, pretty apparently backed this process. He backed this movement. So, so you know, it's it's so it's not just you know, Marion Joe beer can. It's you know, <laughs> he got. You've got uh, you know, the little guys, you've got the populist guys, and then you've got the guy who's effectively right now the richest guy in the world, or one of the top two or three, coming in, hey, I'm in. So, so what happened was the, the shorts, the hedge funds who were shorting, who were betting on the stock to go down, and as you explained, what you effectively are doing is you are borrowing the stock, and then you, have to, you buy it back later, and then you hope that, you, that the price goes down, right? So a short is a bet on a business to go down, Along as a bet on a business to go up, 
And today, the shorts on Wall Street are having a bad day. Okay, this is uh, this. I want to connect some dots here for the audience. Put your head of the curve here. Remember, Donald Trump's president of the United States. One of the reasons he disintermediated. That's a Harvard Business School term. He disintermediated the mainstream media by social media and Twitter. And a lot of these were in these Reddit chat rooms. A lot of the memes generated from the from the chat rooms. He could go over the head of the mainstream media. He didn't even need Fox News to get. His, he could tweet out something. People would pick it up and spread it. What you're seeing here, and the reason the, the reason the White House is saying they're watching it, the chairman of the Federal Reserve actually had comments on it today, says, hey, I don't normally talk about stocks, but we are reviewing it. Yellen's talking about it. Boris, correct me if I'm wrong. They're talking about suspending trading for other they stocks that the, that the Reddit army is, is popping into. Here's the reason. They don't want to disintermediate the hedge fund. The structure of Wall Street, that you have to put your money into a mutual fund, you have to put your money into a hedge fund, that the little investor has always been kind of the marginal guy. The last thing they want to see is the disintermediation of the system, the way the Wall Street Journal tells you how to think, the Financial Times of London tells you how to think, okay? Of course. How the, how the business media tells you how to think, how you must go through Goldman Sachs, you must go through J.P. Morgan, you must give your money to Melvin Capital. Melvin Capital is going to take a 2% management fee and 20% of the ups, right? But you have to do it because you're a moron, right? All we want you to do is keep your mouth shut, Put put your money in your pension fund money in with us. Oh yeah, we lost three and a half billion dollars, right? Maybe we'll have to not rent this. The, they're the, not even they're not even using Schwab. They're using Robinhood, which is this. This, this is my free, point. Free based. Now they've used well, some of your data. TD, to say that, but it's not. It's and TD Ameritrade shut it down. Go TD ahead, TD Ameritrade shut it down. TD Ameritrade is 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 supposed to be the place where you can buy and buy and sell, and then you know short and buy options on. On any stock out, there's supposed to be a free marketplace, but they put restrictions on GameStop and on AMC. The others, which are which seem to be impact, are, are BlackBerry and Nokia. So, yeah, what you're seeing effectively is these is these more old school stocks that were maybe hot in the late '90s, early to mid 2000s, which which were being shorted on, and these fund, hedge funds were making a nice amount of money on by shorting them. But you know, obviously, these funds are making their two and twenty one way or another. So, what are they upset about? Really, in the end. They're home. They bring in your money. They're already home. Whatever happens on the upside doesn't really matter because they're living on that two percent uh, management fee they're getting. So you have you've now had the populace come up and say, okay, you've got all these shorts. We're going to trade up these stocks now. You know, as a as a licensed registered representative, I will say, and I have to say this, I am not advocating. I'm not giving stock advice here. I'm just analyzing what I'm seeing in the market. And what I'm seeing in the market is that the you know, as you the 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 um, regular Americans, the people from from you know Rochester, the people from Albany, the people from outside of Pittsburgh and all throughout America, that's who right now is impacting these stocks. And then you've got the you've got Elon Musk who's now come in and said and and back this effort. So it's a very interesting amalgamation, very interesting constellation of interests between somebody and Elon Musk who. Le- Let's be honest, is not a regular okay. financier. He's always been a bit of a cowboy and the cowboy. mega populace. Yep. But hang on for a second. T- just to understand something. At zero interest rates, the working class people, and, the, and particularly this Reddit nation, they're all serfs. They can't accumulate capital because you are getting you don't get anything on saving. The traditional thing of saving for a rainy day, you're actually paying the bank money to hold your money. What You know, Wall Street... We have socialized all the risks. All the bailouts Wall Street got, the little guy didn't get a bailout. In 2008, you continue, and by the way, the, with quantitative easing and these interest rates going to zero, it's another bailout for Wall Street. Wall Street has capped their downside and has unlimited upside. That's the unfairness of the system. This is not conspiracy, ladies and gentlemen. This gets to the heart of what the problem with the system is. The elites take care of themselves. Their, their uniparty down here always bails them out. The Federal Reserve, they have basically, they used to call it a, 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 a green stuff put, right? They have a Federal Reserve put, right? So you, you're always capped on your downside. You have unlimited upside. So if you make mistakes, you get bailed out. Like Melvin Capital got bailed out by Citadel. You always get bailed out. The little guy never gets a bailout. Well, you know what you'll appreciate, too, is that do you know who one of the first people was who was in on this actually months ago? It was Michael Burry. From, yes. If anyone seen the big short, the this big guy short. is the star of the big right, short. He the big was the short. guy who saw it coming. So, uh, so what are your sources on Wall Street? Guy, right? 
Christian Bale's yeah. guy, yeah. What is what, yeah. Boris? What do your guys on Wall Street tell you right now? The institutional guys, are, are, how worried are that? They've got, they've already got the SEC investigating this. They got the Fed all over this. They got the new Secretary of Treasury all over this. The White House is talking about it. They're talking about suspending these stocks. The last thing they want to see is the Reddit army in these stocks right now. CNBC had a meltdown this morning. What are your sources telling you? My sources are telling me that there's a considerable amount of angst because right now you're dealing with four stocks in GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and Nokia, but there's no telling where it goes from here. So the, the, the concern is, and, and here's what's interesting, right? The concern is that more stocks are going to get popular because of these discussions. Now, everybody, I, again, would advise those who are participating to be aware of some manipulation rules because as we are talking about the NASDAQ and TD Ameritrade potentially manipulating the market by stopping the trading. You also have to be careful about buying you know, jointly and manipulation rules around that. There's a lot of trust. Steve, you know better than anybody. There's a lot of rules and regulations that have been put in place to keep the little guy down, I believe. This, hold on, hold on. This, is the irony, this is the irony of this. Ameritrade was started by Joe Ricketts, who's been one of the great supporters of the conservative clause. His son's the – Pete Ricketts runs the RNC Finance Committee. Uh, his Not son right. is the uh, go, pop, populist governor of uh, populist governor of um, of, uh, of Nebraska. Oh, Joe Senior, Joe Ricketts, Ameritrade was bought by Toronto Dominion. He started for the little guy to be able to trade stocks. The Ameritrade right. was always the place to go that the little guy that had no capital can open an account for nothing and basically trade stocks. They're trying to shut that down. By the way, our engine room in the war room is telling me that the subreddit community's description is like quote. 4chan found a Bloomberg terminal. I don't think anything says it better. <laughs> hey, there's a populist revolt on Wall Street, and the establishment doesn't like it. They, well, they speaking rigged, of those blue The system terminals. is rigged to the hedge funds, ladies and gentlemen. You want to talk about the, blue, the Bloomberg terminals, right? Let's go through those Bloomberg terminal messages because one of the things the, – the reason Michael Bloomberg is a billionaire is because he was selling to the street on these terminals. Let's go through those messages. Let's look for any of these mutual buying yes. that's going through on the Bloomberg terminals. Can We can see Reddit. Can we see those? Okay. Uh, well, first, I here's, another, here's another key – real quick. Here's another key point. Just to be able to buy one of those Bloomberg terminals, a regular American would need to sell an arm and a leg. You know, the the yeah. barrier to entry has been put so high, and what you're seeing now is a lowering of the barrier to entry. And somebody in myself who believes in the American dream, who believes in opportunity, I love it. And you know what? I hope GameStop does great because if we can, if we can, pu if we can right. put a good American company at a, in a good place. That's a benefit for everybody, more jobs yeah. for the American people. CNBC today, Aaron Ross Sorkin said they were being attacked. They were being attacked because people are buying the stock and going long the stock. Last time I looked, that's not an attack. The attack is when you short the stock. Boris, exactly. you got 30 seconds. What's your, what's your social media uh, 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 coordinates so people can get you? 